All right, here we go. So I opened my website, in this case, uh, uh, QAC, um, and you see QAC Group. And there I see my website. And if I look at the uh, options that I have on the website, I can see that I have already add my custom domain, which is uh, schoonspringer.biz and uh, with www and without. Okay, so I also already installed a certificate for both of these names. Okay, but they're going to expire uh, soon. So let's just remove them. And then uh, that's the uh, adding new and replacing one then works exactly the same. So before I do that, of course, I will just first kill my website. I don't want to uh, when I'm tampering with my security. I don't want others to uh, to uh, to uh, go there. So I'm gonna stop my web app. Now I'm going to remove the certificates. I still have to remove these over here manually. First, delete, and now, of course, delete. Don't delete your website, only your SSL certificates, okay? So now I, have a new, I need a new one. So uh, you need a tool called uh, OpenSSL. So I've got that, so kill this, and I go to my uh, favorite uh, free uh, SSL uh, um, supplier and I log in or you don't log in actually uh, you don't have to log in I, I'm, I'm logging in um, and you can see I already have this one over here which is the one that we're, talk we're talking about let's delete the right one okay so I'm now as if it is a completely new and fresh if, if it was only renewing, I just click renew and then I'll go into the same process. So which process is that? that? Well, the process is as followed. You go to the page where you can create the certificates. So in this case, I'll just go to the main page. And I say, okay, I need one for And don't worry about adding the um, other one, the, the, uh, the WW version. Just go to create, and if you need, or you go to advanced options if you like. That's also possible, and it tells you how to be uh, doing the uh, sync.schoonspringen.biz or something like that. Just create. And you already saw it quickly that it added all the rest. So since this is uh, on Azure, we'll just go to manual verification. Uh, we'll go here and it makes two keys. These keys, and if you just select the values in a second, like this, oh, I'll already do a copy. So now I sign in with my provider uh, for my domain name. So I'll sign in. I'll go to where, I, where all the DNS um, uh, info is for that website, which is actually already opened right now. And you add this text. So you go here, add, and then go select text, and then add this text in here, the value in here, or if you already uh, have one, you just replace by clicking the, selecting everything, copy it out, copy the new one in, and just save. We'll do it for the next one as well. So this key, this is the key for the WW. So let's make sure if I mouse over here, you say already WW, replace this one as well. Control A, Control V, save. So now you need to check if everything is connected properly. So they supply you with two links. So just click the first link. And it says yes, okay, cool, that's done. The text uh, document is there. Uh, let's do the other one as well. Another check, yes, it's there, it's found, good. So now we need to add uh, everything. Well, actually we need to download the certificate first. 
Well, we didn't, we, we, we don't have a certificate yet. So download it and actually download, it says download, but it actually just shows this page. And then here it says download, okay? So let's download. So yes, I trust this. Let's keep it. Wait for it to download. And then I have opened already this file, this uh, uh, browser, file browser over here. I'll do a right mouse click. I said, okay, properties. And I'll say, okay, if there's any blocking, just remove it and click okay. Now I unpack everything. So unpacking. And I found this, and this is not what we need for uh, Azure. We need a PFX file, which is actually a combined file for, for this. So I um, remember where I uh, opened, had my open SSL, and I like, uh, like a hack. So if you, if you look at this over here, this is, okay, this is the text that you need to type if, if, if OpenSSL is installed on your PC, but you don't know where exactly. Um, I like to do a quick hack with like this. And before I can do that, I actually need uh, OpenSSL to be in the same directory as the files. So I'll just copy my OpenSSL in here. Uh, copy, uh, paste, and I double click it. That's that's being a bit mean. If I double click it, it opens actually this dialog with OpenSSL already in here. So now I can get this text copy, paste it in here. Make sure that I have no spaces over there. Just copy it in there, press enter, and it says, okay, give me a password. Now, if you type in the password, it will not show. So I'll just type the password. And hopefully I can repeat the same password. Don't make it too difficult. It's not needed. And we're done. So what happened in the background? Well, look what is behind this. We have all these files, and we now have a PFX file with a password protection. Okay, cool, we need that. So where do we use it? Well. We now go to our custom domain names. Actually, we go to our certificates. And we um, upload a certificate. Okay, so now we need our certificate. And I have got it in the downloads. And there's in this folder. And there's my PFX file, PFX file. Open it. Type in my password. And upload. So now it's uploaded. Actually, it's almost done. Add certificate, uh, as you would tell you. It's, hey, successful. Okay, cool. So let's, um, oh, actually it refreshes your the page. Oh, and now we're gonna add the bindings that we need for this. So the first domain name was the uh, schoonspringen.biz. Uh, so the certificate I have for that is this certificate. And I can leave the rest of it as it is, add. So this is the first one. Then add the second binding. Choose the certificate again, add, and we are done. So now don't forget to switch on your website again. Quick and complete. And I had shut it down, so now I'm gonna start it. Bam. Done.